I'm Chandra Natsalansi, contributing editor to Woodworkers Journal magazine. Now there are many times in woodworking when you need to find and mark the center line of a board, perhaps to lay out joinery, or when routing a groove or a decorative detail. And marking the center line on the edge of a board gives you a guide for resawing it into two thinner pieces of equal thickness. There are lots of ways of finding a board center line. You can simply measure it and do a little good old fashioned math. Or you can buy a dedicated center point tape measure like this one. Take the reading on the top scale, it shows you the center line on the bottom scale. But with each of these, you have to mark the center point in a couple of spots first, then use a straight edge to mark the center line. Fortunately, there's a much easier way to get the job done, using this cool little shop-made jig that quickly finds and lets you mark the center line of a board, regardless of whether it's wide or narrow, thick or thin. Um, before I show you how the jig is made, let me show you how it works. Now the first thing you'll notice about our jig is that it actually has four different sides. Each side is comprised of two dowels that are set equidistant from a center hole that's for our marking pencil. The reason for the four sides is so that the jig can accommodate all different widths or thicknesses of material. So, first thing we have to do is we have to find the pair of dowels that most closely fit over our board. Now the board itself really needs to be have parallel straight sides that are also smooth. Not a problem in most cases. So the idea is that the two dowels are going to ride tightly against the sides of the board as we move the jig along and our pencil draws the center line. It works something like this. Now normally I would clamp this down but to be quick and easy I'm just going to do it like this. And there is our center line. Now one limitation of this jig is that it won't draw the center line all the way down the full length of the piece. But if you need it, it's easily remedied with a straight edge. Now as mentioned before, the four positions of this jig allow it to work on all different widths of stock from narrower stock like this or the edge of a board all the way up to boards about 13 inches wide for this particular jig. You can build the center line marking jig just about out of any scrap stock you have around. The first step is to mark the center line and then drill a centered hole that's a snug fit for a pencil from both sides. Now for the guide pins themselves I used regular 5 16 inch dowels. The important thing is to make sure that the distance from the center hole to each dowel is exactly the same. Now for the narrowest setting I put them an inch and a quarter from the hole. For the next two and three quarter inches, then four and a half inches, and finally seven inches for the largest setting. After drilling these holes on the drill press nice and square, you simply glue and pound the dowels into place, wait for them to dry, and your jig is ready for action.